No, I'm Evan. And what we're going to talk to you today, today is about the deposit refund system in Latin America. We're going to talk about the scope and introduction and why this is occurring, uh, summary of existing deposit and refund programs, as well as our solution in Central Hub, the consumer engagement and education necessary to carry out our solution, cost analysis, a financial summary, as well as the benefits to down. Starting with the scope. So this is actually a picture I took over spring break when I was going for a service trip to do conservation for sea turtles. And so this is in rural Limon province in um, our department in Costa Rica. And so this is just a good example about how trash is just piled on the side of the road. And even in the most mountainous areas in like San Jose in the middle of the country, if rain occurs, the, the plastic film will be easily washed away and it will make its way to the ocean where sea turtles do see this as a food source and eat it and have a profit. Now I'll walk over here, I talk to my boss and she visits Honduras where uh, the coffee beans are grown and she says this is just a terrible uh, reality. So the scope, we, uh, we hope to reduce litter through a deposit and refund system, uh, specifically looking at flexible plastic packaging in Latin America. Uh, the real issue with this is there's no, there's little inherent value post-consumer use of this plastic. Uh, it's really no cost for the consumer to throw it away. Uh, it does generate a public cost, however. We're hoping that the economic incentive of, of a deposit and refund system might, make, might be the solution to help incentivize recycling needs. So a deposit and refund system, pretty simple. The deposit is collected at the time of purchase, and refunds are, dis are distributed at a collection 